Well, welcome back, Bear TV viewers, to 2010. Now, as you can tell, I'm in the middle of pre-season training, and there's been plenty happening both on and off the field. But what better way to find out all about it than speaking to the president of the footy club, Matthew Joffa Casey, and he's with Hewler right now. Thanks, JT, and uh, welcome back, viewers, to Bear TV 2010. Now, I'm joined by Caulfield president, Matthew Joffa Casey. How are you doing, Joffa? Yeah, good, thanks. You? Very well, thanks, mate. Now, we've had a big year off the field. Uh, let's talk about our new coaching structure. Yeah, we're, uh, we've reported Slinger, which is fantastic. He's done a great job. Uh, deserved to, uh, to have another crack at it, so uh, we've gone with him again, which is great. We've got in uh, an old Caulfield boy, Greg Ryan, uh, Big a.k.a. Rhino. Big Rhino. Yep. Uh, so he's going to be a supporting uh, Slinger on the bench, which will be fantastic again with his footy knowledge. And uh, probably behind us, you can see him still giving him some advice. So we, it's great for Sling to, uh, to learn from one of the, one of the best in the, in the league anyway. Yep. Dennis, uh, Dennis Nichols also assisting the boys on the bench, so uh, that's even better with his local footy knowledge. Um, it's going to be great. So I've, on the bench and on the, for the seniors as well, should be a really hot side to watch. Yep. Okay, we've got a few new players this year as well. Yeah, we've got uh, a few uh, from... Uh, and a couple of old ones as well. <laughs> yeah, Paco's still playing, so <laughs> well on Paco. But um, yeah, a, a few from Inverloch, um, Zach Griffiths, who played down Geelong Way and uh, a big centre forward, so we're looking forward to seeing him... Uh, run around in a couple of weeks. Uh, a couple of guys from Cranbourne as well, uh, Phillip Island, um, a lot from the country, a yep. few from Wodonga as well, which is our standard sort of thing. So I think we should be called, I don't know, Inverloch, Phillip Island, Wodonga Bears. Now we've had a lot of great sponsors jump on board as usual every year. Sandiford have jumped on again for our major sponsor this year. Yeah, if, uh, if you can support Sandiford uh, letterboxes and, um, Safe. and safes. safes, if you need a safe, go ring. Joffa, he'll hook you up. I'll hook you up with a, with a safe, um, which is fantastic. So thanks to Richard and everyone at Sandalford. It's uh, fantastic. They support local footy. Um, also, uh, we've had uh, Jim's Mowing uh, get on board. So if you need your lawns mowed or hedges clipped or gutters cleaned, ring Jim's Mowing, 131546 is I think the number. Um, we've also got uh, Lion Nathan under the James Bogues product. So they've jumped on board, which is also another good thing. And uh, also Insight Construction. So if you need a house built, a factory built, or any type of plastering, give us a call or look up Insight or Construct Ceilings and uh, Joel Kearney will uh, be your man to uh, fix you up. So it's been, uh, it's been a really good uh, off-season. And also, of course, our long-time supporter of the London Tavern, just around the corner from the Bear Cave. Yep. Uh, if you ever need any takeaways, go for a meal, bistro, drop into the London Tavern and they'll, look, they'll sort you out. Absolutely. They're our number one supporter have been for, for a long time now. So mention you're from the Bears and uh, I'm sure Darren at the pub will uh, might be able to shout you a, a raspberry or even a beer. So uh, get down there. Fantastic. Well, uh, thanks for joining us, uh, the Savo Joff, and um, bring on round one. Yeah, bring it on, I reckon. Now uh, we'll throw to JT and he's got the coach. Over to you. All right, well, thanks, Steve. Uh, well, as you said, I've got the coach of the uh, Caulfield Bears uh, back again for uh, year two. Um, mate, how do you reckon we uh, finished off last year? Uh, yeah, look, I was pretty happy with the year. Um, disappointing to miss the finals, obviously, but, you know, it wasn't by much. Uh, half a game between three sides in the end. Um, yeah, we were one win away from third position. So, um, yeah, I guess a little disappointing, but, yeah, excited about the year ahead. Well, exactly right. I think that's the key word, exciting. There's uh, plenty of talent uh, running around. How about you sort of run us through a few of the new boys? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked with a few of the new guys that have come along. Uh, we've recruited uh, Kittles Kolb, uh, formerly of Murrumbina. Um, he's been training the house down and uh, he showed a lot of really good leadership qualities. Um, a few other guys uh, from down in the country. We've got Zach Griffiths from Inverloch, who's uh, looking like he's going to be a very handy forward for us. Uh, Timmy Kennedy from uh, Talangata, uh, he's come down and uh, he's looking the goods as well, early days on the track. Um, and we've also got a guy by the name of Stevie Molster in the midfield. Um, a few of the young guys from the under-19s have been training really well. Um, Benny Todd's been a handy pickup, another key position player. So uh, yeah, uh, another another guy is uh, Aaron Shedlock, who I've got across from uh, from Coringal. I think he was at down uh, down Mornington Way. Uh, made mine from uni, and he's uh, he's been great on the track, showing uh, a lot of promise and a lot of leadership qualities as well. Yep, well, there's uh, certainly plenty of uh, new country boys uh, into the club. Um, now, um, this year, mate, uh, as you said, it's exciting. Uh, a lot of young, sort of fit guys. Is it going to be a different style of play we can expect from the Bears this year? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think uh, we can expect to see the guys play on a lot more and take a lot more risks. Uh, that's a game plan I really want to implement this year. Um, just fast, like, attractive, exciting football. 
Um, yeah, I've already been getting into the guys, telling them that we're going to be doing a lot of that, playing on at all costs and things like that. So um, it's going to be pretty fun to watch and, um, and fun to be a part of. Obviously, I'll be out there as well. So, um, yeah, I can't wait. Well, uh, as most people know down at the club, I'm a big fan of uh, North Melbourne uh, Footy Club and they've got a new, new coach, Brad Scott, on board. And uh, he's been pretty big on sort of not setting expectations from the players this year. But uh, really wanted to ask you, is it unreasonable to say that after just missing out last year that we should expect finals this year? Um, yeah, I think so. Uh, I think with the group of players we've brought in, uh, it's looking really exciting. Um, we've, we've had a few guys that have moved on, but I'm more than happy with the guys that have come in that can fill those, fill those shoes and more. So, uh, yeah, to answer your question, um, finals is definitely on the agenda. Yep. No, I agree. It's, uh, I'll be disappointed if uh, probably my last year too, so uh, it's the last chance at it. So, uh, well, mate, uh, is there anything else you sort of want to get to the boys? Uh, obviously, we've only got about three or four weeks left before the first game, so any sort of key messages you want to get across to the guys out there that might be watching? Uh, yeah, look, just get down here, boys. Uh, the last couple of weeks, uh, we've been getting 30-plus on the track, and everyone's just pumped. Um, the vibe is just uh, at, at a real high at the moment, and um, yeah, we're just loving it out on the track. All the new guys are really chatty. Um, it's uh, it's just it's, we're just having a lot of fun down here. So the training's been hard. Everyone's uh, been working really hard, but uh, yeah, we've been having a lot of fun at the same time. So uh, can't wait to start playing, mate. All right, well, thanks for your time tonight, Pete. Uh, you're probably pretty keen to get back out there on the track and uh, lead the boys out to the rest of training. So uh, we'll go back to the studio and wrap up the show. Ticket Television, here we are back in our new studios thanks to uh, one of our great sponsors, Insight Constructions and Joel Cash Kearney. Thanks, Jolie. Mate, this is luxury. It certainly is. Now, um, JT, as you know, the work of a club president's never done. Busy guy. Now, we're going to throw to Joffa. He's somewhere in the country, somewhere looking for players and sponsorship. Are you there, Joffa? Have you got us? Killer, JT. Yeah, you've got me. You found me. As you can see, I've been scouring the globe for some footballers and uh, some talent out there, and, and yes, I have, I've found them. There's a heap. I've gone to Phillip Island via Cranbourne, then on to Inverloch, Wodonga, Talangada, I think it is. Wow, I've visited some places I never knew existed, but there's some good news, some good signings, and um, I can't wait to see them hit the park. So to the supporters, come and have a look at the new, the new Bears. It's going to be a hot season. But boys, don't stress. After having some of the James Bogues product, just sampling some of the new product of our sponsor, I'm going to be back for the practice match on Saturday, so don't forget to uh, tell everyone where we are next Saturday at Ashwood, at Ashwood. Um, and then, oh, oh, don't forget, Ladies' Day. Po uh, promote that as well, round two against, I think it's Black Rock, our first home game. So to the supporters, get down, it's going to be a fantastic brand of footy. Righto, boys, we're going to have a, one, more, uh, one more beer, and then I'm going to go, I'll be heading back home. See yous. <laughs> well, that was worth a live cross, wasn't it? Good work, Joff. <laughs> Great work, Never Joff. stops that bloke. He's a hard worker. Now, uh, practice matches. Get along. 12pm uh, v Ashwood at Ashwood. This Saturday, the 20th. Sunday, the 28th v Moroban at Trevor Barker Oval Sandringham. Absolutely cracking ground, boys. Beautiful so looking track. forward to that. AM kickoff, And, of course, big event round two. Oh, yeah. Ladies' Day. Ladies' Day, girls. So get your frocks ready. Get the legs waxed. It is all going to happen. It's going to be huge. For those who were there last year, it's going to be even awesome. bigger. Massive day. It was awesome. It is. So, mate, that's it for this episode. Well done, Steve. Great to have you back. Thanks, JT. And uh, next episode, we'll be looking at some highlights from some of our pracky games. Until then, see you later. See you later.